Hello, this is uh, Extreme Gamer X again. Today I'm coming to you to uh, tell you about three reasons why patch files will not work. Uh, mainly I'm talking about Ray 150, aka Squirrel Boy. But uh, first off, I'd start this out with an apology. I said I'd do this video a couple days ago. People have been asking for it. I've been kind of dragging my feet, going out partying, and doing other various things when I should have been actually doing this. But nonetheless, now here I am going and doing it. Um, Sorry for any kind of video quality, sound quality. This is actually made on my phone, so uh, bear with me, if you will. Um, for those of you who haven't watched a couple of my other videos, I'm Extreme Gamer X. Uh, I got a degree in computer science. I've been doing the whole console modding slash game copying thing for about seven plus years. Um, I do reviews for certain places. Um, I used to own actually a review site, a review site called Max OC, um, where we overclock computers and whatnot. But nonetheless, people send me stuff like this to go and uh, review, and I tell them what you know I think about it and put it on the web. But nonetheless, okay, three reasons why this is not going to work. The first of which is there's no need for new versions. You would never need a new version of any kind of patch to go and put on there. Why? Because your PlayStation 2 has never changed. Your Xbox hasn't changed. Your Xbox 360 hasn't changed. Your Wii hasn't changed. There's no reason for a new, new version of a patch. That's just the first reason why this is a complete lie and bullshit, basically. Um, the second of which, console discs don't work like normal computer discs. Um, we'll show you an example here. We got some CDs. First off, there's burnout, and there's copy. Okay, a normal CD on a computer starts off in the middle with what's called the first sector, and this is a master boot record, an MBR. So what it does, this is basically an index saying, okay, this is what's on this disk. Okay, the PlayStation CD, on the other hand, actually does start off just like a normal computer CD, but the first sector of a PlayStation CD is a boot sector that says, hey, I'm a PlayStation 2. There's no way to actually make this disc say, hey, I'm a PlayStation 2. It's all on the burner. It's how your burner makes discs. It's, there's nothing you can change about it. It's just impossible. There's nothing you can do about it. It'd be great if someone came out with a BIOS flash that made it actually go and say, hey, I'm a PlayStation 2, and then burn the game. Or, for example, the Wii. The Wii actually, I believe, starts on the outside and is encrypted. So they're all different. They all have different things. Um, so basically, you know, for one, they'd have to be different patch files. We'll get to that later. But... That's how a CD is actually made. PlayStation 2, just for our example, says, hey, I'm a PlayStation 2, it's a boot sector, and then records. Computer, hey, master boot record, this is all the files are on this disk, and then records. It's all on your burner, there's nothing you can change about it. So let's go and take a look at the computer and finish the rest of this off. Okay, for the next part of this, I was actually going to go ahead and... Uh show you something but it seems like on this one here Ray had the links he had taken down um, I did download these files at one time and actually the PS2, the Xbox and Xbox 360 patch files were exactly the same the same size, um, I've actually opened them up and they're the exact same file all around um, this is virtually impossible because the Xbox, the Xbox 360 and the PS2 are all made differently each time that any company comes out with a new console, it's actually made a little bit different, and that is to go and keep people from, you know, copying their games. But uh, the files that he did have on here were 100% the same. Um, no difference whatsoever, so uh, that right there is another telltale sign that these are not real. But uh, what I think he is doing, I mean, this stuff is possible. We've seen people actually put it in there. I have no doubt that he puts a play game, a copy game in there and plays it. Um, the thing is, is he has some other thing going through there, you know, mod chips off, mod something, that I would teach, like, in my book, but it's just, he, there's ways to open a console without breaking the warranty. With a, a PS2 Slimline, you can actually take out all the screws except for the last one, tip it up, give it a nice little pull, and that back post will snap, but you can put your PS2 together and the warranty seal will be perfectly fine. Um, same thing with the Xbox 360, I'm pretty sure that if you go and take that one apart you can actually flip it over as long as you don't rip the seal you just flip it over it puts a little bend in it and it's still there which yet again you know your warranty seal is fine um I'd like to go and take a second to talk to you about the book too so one more all 
everybody, this is Extreme Gamer X again. This is actually an update to the video we were doing before. I got raised patch files, and uh, actually, for some reason, my video didn't upload correctly, so we'll add this. Um, these are the patch files that Ray150 sent me for PS2, PS3, Xbox, Wii, or actually put Will, I don't know what that is, and uh, the Xbox 360. Let's start off PS2. If you see their boot and booting, open up the properties on these. And we should see that. Actually, let's go and open up separate. See that this file is 1.59 meg. This file as well is 1.59 meg. You see right there, both of these are exact same size, which is very fishy considering. And if we go and open these files. Got WordPad there. <laughs> the very first uh, line in here is uh, this. Fuck you, ha 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 ha. And as on both the PS2 files, so they are the exact same files whatsoever. No difference. Um. You can see that Ray apparently knows this doesn't work since he goes and puts, you know, fuck you, ha 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 ha, and this stuff. Um, let's bring this back up. Like we were saying here, this one is 1.59 meg, and if you go to any of these other ones, like say Xbox 360, which is probably the furthest, furthest thing from a PlayStation 2, and open it up, exact same file, with the F you, ha 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 ha. And the exact same size. So right there you can see that Ray 150's files are complete shit. They don't work. And this is why. So if uh, you have any more questions, feel free to email me. Good day. Happy fragging. Okay, last thing I want to talk about today is Console Gamer's Little Black Book of Dirty Secrets. It's on sale now for only $9.95. Um, the only place you can get it is at GameCopyGuide.com forward slash YouTube. If you go to GameCopyGuide.com, you're going to get the normal $24.95 price. Um, so to get the deal, you actually have to go to that address right there. Anything else, just it'll be more. You can only find it at my site, by the way. Um, I've been getting good reviews. If you look down towards my look through my comments down towards the bottom, go to Show All, and you'll see a lot of people that are actually very happy with the book. Um, and to tell you the truth, Ray himself even recommended it. He uh, sent me a message here. You can see right here from Ray150. It says, You are cell is okay. I recommend to people. I'm not sure exactly what kind of language that's in, but nonetheless, he does recommend it to people. Um, that's all I have really to say. But the sale's going to be done soon, so hurry up and get it while you can. If not, it's going to be more. Um, everyone have a good day and happy fragging.